Hey, what's up guys? Iman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're talking about suction mounts for the car. So I've really never had a need to put on a suction mount for uh, like a GoPro or another camera inside the car. I've done it outside the car a number of times for different purposes, but never on the inside. Um, and there's a difference because if you're putting it on the outside, if you're not putting it on the actual glass itself, you're using the body to put it on it's a different surface. It sticks a bit different than what it would on the, on the glass. So I did my research and while I've got the GoPro one, um, I wanted to go with maybe an off-brand one, try to save some money. And unfortunately it did not work out. I went out and bought one that's called Fantaseal. It's on Amazon. It's got really good reviews. And I thought, you know what, this is what I need because I wanted a really good strong hold not only for my GoPro, but also my DSLR. And this one claims that it can hold a lot of weight and it's very strong. The reviews said it, it backed it up. And while that's all true, one thing I found out that it's actually a bit too strong for the glass. So let me show you. As you guys can see here, this is a overhead shot uh, of the glass on my Tesla Model 3 performance. And as you guys can see, there is a bit of a dimple if you will uh, or dent or whatever you want to call it in the glass now I had that mounted inside but and this view is from the top of the glass but you can clearly see that there is a dimple in the glass now this glass on the Tesla roof is extremely extremely strong uh, obviously making it one of the safest cars ever tested but my point being if it's gonna cause a bit of a dimple in this type of uh, a glass, I can't imagine what it would possibly do to the outside of the car, like, you know, the actual panels or something, or a glass that's a bit thinner. Now, I might be overreacting just a little bit on this, but at the same time, the way I look at it is, if it's causing this type of a dimple uh, or dentation in the glass, it's messing with the property of the glass, meaning that it might not be as strong uh, if, it wasn't doing that, I mean, in a normal state versus it being in, in this type of state. So um, I can show you guys a video of it obviously not being with the, the mount and here it is. Uh, you guys can see there's absolutely no dentation, no dimple in the glass. This is me taking it off. And then you guys saw the video of it being on. So clearly this thing does suck. It uh, obviously is very strong. Uh, I did use it for one of my videos and I had a GoPro mount on it. I did not get a chance to um, mount my DSLR, but I realized this dimple after I did my car wash video. So I was like, why is my glass kind of going down like that? And I realized that's where I had mounted the, the suction cup here. So uh, while it's super strong and I can certainly vouch for that for the company, uh, I'm not sure again how well it would do or if it would damage uh, the glass or the exterior of where we were putting this thing. I just don't want to test it out for my car or anything like that. I just, I just want to give you guys a heads up that this is what I noticed with this mount. So what I did was I, of course, again, I, I have my GoPro one for the front here. I went out and bought a Joby uh, suction cup and grill up hot arm. And this is um, basically you put this on and you turn this to lock it in place. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the video, but this is where I had the previous one mounted. So I have it mounted in the same place. And I did the same test with this mount and of course there's no dimple on the glass itself. And while this thing is extremely strong, I have put the GoPro on here and I did mount um, a DSLR on here as well. And this thing inside has held up really well. Now this one does have mixed reviews, full disclosure, uh, where people have said that it did not stick that well on the outside surfaces, but I'm not gonna be using it for that. Uh, I'm gonna be using it primarily on the inside just for my videos on here. And I, what I do like about this is the Grillapod arm, which obviously lowers the camera, gives it a better view for the front. And I've had other Joby products before and I've never had any issues with it, all the Grillapods and things like that. So this is a company that I do trust. And this product so far that I've used it a few different times has proven to uh, be successful. So um, again, just a heads up on the Fantaseal one. If you do want that hard suction and you think it's not gonna damage your glass or your surface, by all means, give that a shot. It is a very strong suction cup uh, and it works really well. Again, just too strong in my opinion. Otherwise, a great alternative is Joby One 
or of course the GoPro one and GoPro one does come with an arm if you do want to use that one uh, I believe I don't remember I've had this for such a long time but I believe these sell for about $50 uh, the Joby one that I got here is about $20 and um, so much cheaper than that, but um, again, not a GoPro, a off-brand Joby, which again, great brand. So hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. Let me know in the comment section below what mount you're using and what has worked well for you, especially for DSLR, which I believe is hard to find a good mount for it. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.